Hello, YouTube. Yesterday, I showed you a video of this computer running a test program, but I didn't provide any explanation about the computer because I was tired and it was late. So today, I'm going to explain what this computer is and what I plan to do with it. So, this is a 74 series logic computer. All of the chips except for the resistor arrays and the storage chips are 74 series logic chips. And the computer is divided into three boards. The top board here is the address board, which contains the address registers of the computer, including the program counter. It also displays the 24-bit address bus and the 8-bit data bus using LEDs. The middle board here is the logic board, which contains the arithmetic logic unit and the clock logic. And the bottom board here is the I.O. board, which contains 2 megabytes of RAM and 512 kilobytes of flash storage. It also contains the crystal oscillator and control logic for the crystal oscillator and it has input-output ports for communicating with the outside world. You might be curious to know why I put tin foil over these wires, and the answer is I wanted to prevent electromagnetic interference, and I was worried about that because the wires are long, and I also put grounding planes on the circuit boards to prevent electromagnetic interference on the circuit boards themselves. And this breadboard right here exists only to provide two sourcing resistors for a couple of signals that I accidentally forgot to source. Right now the computer is hooked up to an Arduino which can load test programs and firmware into storage. Um, the plan in the future is to connect a second Arduino to the input-output ports and connect that to a quote-unquote dumb terminal which will provide keyboard, graphics, internet access, and file storage. And the dumb terminal, in case you can't figure it out, is the thing that I'm pointing the camera at. So yes, I'm definitely cheating a little bit by using a regular Linux computer as the input-output, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. After all, I'm only concerned about the CPU being 74 series logic. So the plan in the future is to implement a robust operating system, which will take some time to do, and then eventually I plan to add time sharing to the computer so people can submit programs on the internet and the computer will run them and pass back their results. So that's all I have to show for right now. Thanks for watching.